Two Enfield men who fled the Taliban in Afghanistan say they're living in fear once again after deranged early morning attack. The victims believe they are being targeted by a man caught stealing from their northern suburbs business. A hate-fueled attack which has its targets living in fear. We're fearing for our life as well and we don't feel safe. A tow truck parked outside an Enfield home sprayed with misspelled but menacing messages early this morning. Its tyres slashed and, most disturbingly, the brake line was cut. They just want to kill us and then cut the fuel pump and yeah. cut the brake line. A bag of bullets also hung from a windscreen wiper. So he left them there? He left them hanging up, on, put it inside the plastic bag, hanging up on the door. A message for the truck's now terrified owner, Zia Ali, and coded at Jamili, who run a northern suburbs wrecking yard. An alert neighbour spotted a man carrying out the attack at three this morning and called police. When they arrived on scene, police discovered a car parked close by. Detaining its driver, they located three stolen guns and a knife. A 62-year-old was arrested and charged. Two more guns found at his house. Could turn out to be really, really dangerous, you know. Obviously, that, uh, now that I know that he had two guns and a knife. The victims believe they are being targeted for turning in a thief caught stealing from their business just a week ago. Last weekend that we catch them red-handed in, uh, in, in our yard. And having fled the Taliban in their native Afghanistan 15 years ago, say they're shocked to be living in fear once again. Just leave us alone here yeah, and we like we never wanted the trouble in the first place and we don't want any trouble like now. Rhett Burney, Nine News.